Casey Donaldson with us this morning, a rare treat for us. Yeah. <laughs> and Katie is uh, keeping a close eye on those road conditions on the out there. It's always hard to leave the mountains when a fresh mm -hmm. batch of snow is yeah. coming. And when you suggested everyone just extend their weekend, <laughs> I thought, you know, Why not? I did expect you to say that. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying leave early, leave early. Yeah. You're like, hey, I'm like, she just yeah. today. Yeah. I mean, you have two choices, yeah. people. Extend that vacation. <laughs> there you go. And uh, we are expecting snow in through this evening. So whether you choose to leave early and avoid the snow or stay and ride it out, it's going to be beautiful here uh, over the next 24 hours, but it will be troublesome on the road. So we'll have sunny, mild conditions this morning. Temperatures in the low 50s today, so a nice dry morning for us. And then as we head into tonight, we'll have rain changing over to snow as a cold front moves into Colorado. So tomorrow morning for your commute, looks like it'll be slick and probably pretty slow as it'll take a few hours before the snow moves out of our area tomorrow morning. As for tonight, we have winter weather advisories in effect here. We have a winter storm watch in effect for parts of the eastern plains and it includes some of our southern suburbs. But here's the cold front. Notice all of the watches and warnings out ahead of this storm system, anticipating heavy snow and blowing snow for many states as this cold front moves through. Temperatures right now mostly in the 20s and 30s. We have some 40s already down to the south around Highlands Ranch and Castle Rock. But what we do have is that winter weather advisory not only for the mountains but for the eastern plains around Burlington winter storm watch closer to Denver and this extends all the way down toward Castle Rock out toward Elizabeth Bennett Fort Morgan the I-70 and I-76 corridors are going to be the most troublesome in through tonight we're expecting heavier snow out this direction two to three inches here in Denver and one to two farther to the north partly cloudy skies otherwise this morning snow developing as the cold front moves in around lunchtime into the high country then here for the front range as we get toward drive time tonight rain and snow developing and then lasting through the overnight hours so a mild day overall for us up until this afternoon 40s and 50s for afternoon highs we'll be in the 40s from about 10 a.m to noon we'll hit 51 by two o'clock and then the temperature starts to drop once the cold front goes through so by tonight nine o'clock we still have kind of a rain snow mix across the area it's all snow overnight here for the front range into 8 30 tomorrow morning snow with temperatures in the 20s and our highs tomorrow will only be in the 30s during the day, but you'll notice that snow moves on out as we go into the afternoon. Our first alert action day extended into tomorrow as well. For our first chair at Keystone today, 22 degrees. Last run, 35. It'll be snowy and windy with a wind chill around 5 degrees. Tonight, temperatures in the 20s with rain and snow. We'll have highs tomorrow in the low 30s here. 30s for southeastern Colorado and teens and 20s tomorrow for the mountains. So it'll be a cold one tomorrow with the snow in the morning, then clearing later in the day not too bad later in the afternoon but it will be cold then 43 on Wednesday not as cold we'll have another cold front on Thursday then we come out of all of that and we'll have 40s and 50s for afternoon highs as we go into the weekend with more sunshine showing up